Okay, in my previous video, we worked out the limit comparison test to show that this series converges. But then we can also use the direct comparison test to do the same right here as well. And then it just kind of depends on your preference to see if you want to use the limit comparison test first or the direct comparison test first. Sometimes they both work just like this situation right here. But then sometimes only one of them work. And then also there will be a situation that none of them works. Okay? But anyways, to run through the direct comparison test, we still have to come up with something that we know much better, which we just consider 9 to the n on the top over 10 to the n. So we are talking about the series where n goes from 1 to infinity, 9 to the n over 10 to the n, which we know this is just the same as a geometry series with common ratio 9 over 10, right? Because we write this as 9 over 10 raised to the nth power, and we just have to indicate that because the common ratio from a geometry series is less than 1. Therefore, this converges. All right, if we have something that we know to be convergent, we're talking about the first situation. This is the original series that we're trying to decide if it converges or not. We hope to show that this is less than or equal to a known convergent. If we can do that, if this inequality is true, then we get to say that this also converges. If this right here, this, the series that we came up with was a divergent, then we're talking about the second situation. So if we can show a um, series that's greater than or equal to a non-divergent, then this series has to diverge as well. But then we're talking about the first situation. And now let's just go ahead and run through the check. So here we go. I'm going to put down sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity. Here we have the 9 to the n over 3 plus 10 to the n. And we hope to show that this is less than or equal to, but we don't know at the moment. So I put a question mark right here. A convergent that we already know, which is, let me put it down this format. n is equal to 1 to infinity, 9 to the n over 10 to the n. They are the same anyways. Okay? All right. So once again, the inequality part is very important. You make sure you have to set up the correct one. If you have a convergent over there, you are going to make sure this is less than or equal to a non-convergent. And the rest is just algebra. Let's go ahead and do that. So we can just consider the expressions. We can forget about the sigma because both of them are going from 1 to infinity anyways. So we're just comparing 9 to the n over 3 plus 10 to the n. Is this less than or equal to 9 to the n over uh, 10 to the n. Well, let's see. Maybe we can do this if you would like. Because both of them have 9 to the n on the top, right? So let's do the algebra. Let's multiply both sides by 1 over 9 to the n. So that this and that cancel, this and that cancel. And we're talking about 1 over 3 plus 10 to the n. Is this less than or equal to 1 over 10 to the n? And then if you would like, you can just cross multiply, or you can just say, <laughs> because the denominator here is bigger, therefore it is true. But then I, I think that's just uh, do it with uh, cross multiplication. Ten, 1 times 10 to the n is just 10 to the n. Is this less than or equal to 3 plus 10 to the n times 1, which is just this? Is this true? And you can just stop right here to say it's true because both of them have 10 to the n, right? So it's obviously true. And if you want to do slightly more work, you can just minus 10 to the n on both sides so that they cancel, 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 cancel. And we are talking about is 0 less than or equal to 3, right? Well, of course, this is true. There's nothing else that we can do. So that's pretty much the final steps. Anyways. You do enough algebra so that you can show that this inequality is indeed correct. Then we can stop. We could have stopped right here if you like. But this is like the final step, right? And because the inequality over there is true, we get to draw conclusions. We get to say that this also converges. And then the reason is because we are using the direct comparison test. So we can say, perhaps, let me just do it right here. Okay, so let me indicate this series also converges, and the reason for that is by the right comparison test, DC. 
e t and let me just say that with that with the sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity 9 to the n over 10 to the n and this right here will be my conclusion and that's it